Hi YouTube! So it's Ishe coming back at you. This video is going to be fairly quick. Actually, I'm glad it's going to be quick because it took me forever to find these caps for this particular shoe here. Now these are some badass stiletto booties. Okay, these are some booties. And I've had these for quite some time, probably like over four years now. But this always tends to happen to me with boots. You see this heel? It's a hot mess. And it's very dangerous wearing this heel out, especially in Chicago when we have crazy weather like the crazy snow. I can slip and fall and bust my shit, okay? So with these, I was able to find a few caps. Actually, the same seller had multiple size caps on Amazon, and I'm going to put the link below. And um, it was so difficult to find the right caps for shoes. So there's four sizes that this seller gives you. As you can see, this size right here these are for probably like some boots so i already know that it's not going to fit on here this is too big you see too big and so that wasn't the one i knew i wasn't going to use and then they have another one and this is my first time again purchasing these caps i guess i got lucky because i really was purchasing a lot of different caps like from china i was even thinking about creating my own caps I tried to do that from scratch with something and it kept coming off. So these are also too big. This is like the next um, size down. And the good thing that I like about this seller is that they have different color bags. So that way you can um, kind of decipher what the sizes are. So I know the fuchsia and the purple are not my size. And so the next one down in size will be the white, the white bag. With the white bag, this still looks a little big. I'm try it and test it out. Pretty big. So I won't be using that one. And then lastly, we have this light pink bag. So this light pink bag is actually the one that fits my shoe. And when I slipped it on, I was like, OMG. Oh my God, like, oh yes, oh my God, it fits. So, this isn't it. You have to do more than just put it on. You have to glue it on. <laughs> so this is a perfect fit for this heel. So I'm just going to show you how to put it on, which is fairly easy. And you want to also make sure that you trim the edges of the boot. So also with these caps, it pretty much it's um, eight bags. So you get two of each. So I have two of these pink ones. What I really wish is that I can find multiple sizes in this like I hate that I have to buy different sizes when I already know the particular size that I want that's the only thing that I hate about it so grab your scissors and just start cutting cutting the edges of the boot to make it very clean so the cap can go on smoother because you see it was a little rough going on you don't want to cut too much but you just want to cut enough okay Cut enough so after you cut it which we just did you see now it's a little smoother than before we're gonna put it down and I'm gonna get we're gonna be using two type of glues today the gorilla glue which I've used on another pair of heels in the past and they work well and gorilla glue is so good that my actual whole heel of a boot that I had the full heel came off the shoe and I was able to glue it on with gorilla glue and that shoe still exists. I'm still able to walk in it. And that was like over 10 years ago. Okay. So the Gorilla Glue is perfect. But the thing about Gorilla Glue is that it doesn't dry, it doesn't dry quickly. So that way, that's why I'm using the Crazy Glue. And Gorilla Glue actually does have now, because they've expanded their brand. They do have Crazy Glue now that you can use. But I ran out of that. So now I'm just using... Um, regular crazy glue gorilla does have a quick set glue called gorilla glue um that works like crazy glue but again i used all of that already so what i'm gonna do is place some of this crazy glue and make sure you don't waste the crazy glue because it does dry hard and very quickly so i want to put some of this crazy glue right in the middle right in the middle of this hole for the cap and then what i'm going to do is use this here is something like that I'm not going to use again because I know the glue and the glue touches this. I'm not going to be able to use this again. I want to go around making sure I get around, along the sides of the cap. And then what I want to do now is put the top back on this Gorilla Glue. Make sure it's tight. 
and let's hope that the glue comes out because sometimes it takes forever for this Gorilla Glue to come out or it dries so hard that the top of it won't. Okay, so yes, it's coming out, thank goodness. It's coming out. All right. So as long as we get that Gorilla Glue up in there, we get that going. And you don't want to put too much. You see how it's getting hard now? Because we want to hurry up. Maybe put a little bit more of this in there. And then now hurry up and put it on your boot. Okay? So, what you're going to do is allow this to dry for about 15 minutes. Yes, 15 minutes to 60 minutes. And what I typically do is put my items by the fan so it can dry quicker. And that's the 15 minute mark. If you don't have a fan, then it probably is going to take about 60 minutes. So once you do that, you should have a good functioning boot. If you would like to put maybe black tape over it to hold it tighter, you can definitely do that as well. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? And actually, you see it has a size at the bottom, an extra small. And I'm going to see if this seller who sold the combination of sizes actually just sell only the extra small. So that way I can fix all my other shoes that's like this. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe and leave comments at the bottom. But I really did hope that this helped you um, because I knew it took me a long time to find the correct and proper cap for my heels. And now I've, I've found a very quality, quality supplier who is providing me with that. So, I'm extremely elated and I hope you guys like the video. Have an awesome day.